Hey everybody, welcome back to my layout. It's July 2015 and time for a layout update. So we'll get right into it guys. Uh, first things I got in uh, over the last month were these American Limited Fraxan cars. Kind of a neat package, they come in a neat yellow box like that. It's got the different car road names that they made in this run. So I got a few different ones I got. So I'm not going to go too crazy into detail with them. We'll just do a quick roll by here and have a look at the different paint jobs. I think lots of different people have covered these already. They are really nice cars though. So that's the CRDX one. I like these ones because they got the cool uh, no hammer logos on the side of them. They did a, a CMO with uh, UP Building America. The modern day uh, CSX boxcar logo. WSOX, which is Wind Bay Sand, and it's cool. I've seen quite a few of those out here in Alberta. The standard uh, MCEX, which is the gray one. Really nice cars, though, and I've uh, ran them quite a bit, and they run really good, which is awesome. So the only other stuff I got in over the last month, guys, was some shipping containers. These are the new run uh, Athern Hapig Lloyd. They come in a three pack. They are 40 foot high cubes. These are the uh, refrigerated version made by Concor, which are really nice. Like really nice detail on the uh, refrigeration part at the end. And a couple packages of the Concor. Uh, these are the new 53 foot CN Cargo Cool. Um, refrigerated containers and they also have like a really cool uh, if you hear any extra sound effects it's my uh, little guys helping me make this video there you can see the detail on the uh, refrigerator there pretty nice though by Concor so that wraps up uh, the new stuff I got over the last month guys we'll take a look at some of the stuff I've been working on so I finished uh, my maintenance away box car. It's all done now, weathered up and uh, clear coated. So we'll just show you some different angles of it. This is the A end, uh, similar to the other side. They got a door at both ends, and the other side. One thing that worked uh, really well was uh, I did the same method I always do to make windows. I just use like plastic uh, food packaging and uh, instead of what I normally do is uh, put the windows on the inside, that wouldn't have worked because they have the thick resin body of the car. So I just uh, put it on the outside and then I masked them and painted the frames on. I think it actually turned out pretty good. They almost look like uh, wooden framed glass windows. So I'll just show you a few quick photos I took with my uh, cell phone as I progressed doing the different uh, patches and stuff on the paint. So I started working on a few more little uh, detail things for my Fremo module. Uh, one of them is to make the switch stand for the siding. And uh, going off prototype photos, I noticed that they're fairly similar, not exact, but uh, pretty close to the Osborne model kits. So I just uh, cut the stand off the Osborne model kits and I built a custom uh, switch target 
uh, based on the prototype photos. I'm actually really happy with the uh, way it turned out. It's operable too, which is cool. Here's a dime for size comparison. So the uh, square part of the target is built out of scrap brass and then just painted it green. And the uh, circle part for lining the switch in reverse, that's just made out of uh, leftover elevator leg like this and I just sliced a thin chunk of it and then cut it in half and glued it on the brass and then painted it so really pleased with that these are the fun little details doing stuff like this so that'll go on uh, the module once I've seen it can ballast it so one thing I'm going to be working on here is coming up is uh, scenicing this thing I've ordered a whole whack load of uh, static grass and that's coming from scenic express I'm going to be doing the, uh, the whole surface of this thing. And I built a static grass applicator out of a bug zapper following uh, the plans off of uh, a website I found. I'll put a link in the video info. Seemed pretty straightforward though. It's uh, just a 1.5 volt bug zapper basically. It takes two D batteries and you just got to push the button. This is a strainer from the dollar store. And I soldered a tack, a thumbtack to this. I don't know if it'll work or not, but uh, I'm going to try that and see if it works. And uh, modify the design if I have to. But uh, I think it cost me maybe 20 bucks. I think it probably could have done it cheaper if I would have bought a bug zapper just from like the dollar store because I realized they were about 3 bucks when I went there. But yeah, you could probably build one of these for under $10 versus uh, spending, I think the Nox one is. 200 bucks, something in that ballpark, and uh, got all my homemade scenic material ready to go there for scenicing. So as soon as I get the uh, static grass in the mail, I'm gonna tackle this and uh, do the whole thing. So that'll catch us up to the end of July, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.